How are we looking for waves? Do I need to hustle? Back at El Matador on a day that's a little less crowded and Ryan just showed me this cool secret beach. We have a couple challenges today. One is Araya has to be at work uh, uh, in a couple hours. And we also have the tide issue here. When the tide comes in, we will not be able to get out of here. So we're just gonna get set up and get started. So here's what I'm looking at, and I'm thinking of doing something with this big rock here. I don't know, maybe something like that. Yeah, he's got like a super wide panorama. What's what's what are the inches on that? I think it's 12 by 30. I uh, got it from like a lumber store, so it wasn't a traditional art size, but uh... yeah. So he's got 12 by 30, so a nice wide panorama. And then I am going with a. 11 by 22 panorama. Okay, so Araya's got to take off, but actually in this case, it's kind of a good thing, right? I mean, it's like, you know, oftentimes as painters, we talk about like stopping before we go too far. And I just took a look at it and I was like, dude, it looks awesome. It looks really good, super loose, but you know, it's got all the, it's got everything it needs just to, you know, show you the brushwork. Okay, so I gotta wrap it up quick. The tide is coming in. I looked up and I noticed that the cave was filling with water and so I kind of panicked a little bit and I threw everything together really quickly and kind of scrambled out of there. Uh, earlier in the day, a lifeguard had come down and, and we were talking and he was saying, yeah, you know, sometimes people get stuck on the beach and we have to fly a helicopter in and airlift them out. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things that might not have been clear in the video. Number one, when Araya uh, laid out his towel, uh, he was trying to reduce the glare off the sand. So a lot of times if you're outdoors and you're painting on something like snow or sand, there's a lot of reflection 
and it can kind of tire your eyes out or just kind of create a distraction. So by putting a, a dark cloth or you know blanket or a towel or something down, you reduce that reflection. East Coast painters like Aldro Hibbard used to lay out a big black tarp. Uh, so that's really helpful. So that's what was going on there. And then uh, what he was talking about with the sketch is that he was, neither of us really do sketches. And we were kind of talking about how doing a sketch could be a, a good idea. When I painted the previous day with um, Tom Chambers, he did like these nice little sketches and then kind of pinned it to his uh, to his easel and I thought oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool idea and uh, But I never do that. I never do sketches. I just sort of jump into the painting And so we were talking about that and Mariah's like, you know, I'm gonna do a sketch today So he sat down and he was doing his sketch and then when he stood up he realized that the view was changed So that's what he was talking about. I'll put um, Araya's information down below his Instagram and all that I'll link that in the description um, and uh, so anyway, thanks for hanging out guys, and I will see you in the next video.